Hi guys, and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. I know the lighting isn't the best right now, but I, like, can't get my emotions together right now. I just got back from Beautiful Creatures, the movie. Mm -mm. That movie killed me. I was not happy with the movie. Um, and that really made me upset because I was so, so, so excited for this movie. And I was so let down by it. Um, like, let me say going into this, like, I totally expected there to be cuts. I totally expected there to be change because, I mean, Beautiful Creatures is almost a 600-page book. How the heck are they going to put that in a two-hour movie? So I knew that coming in. So don't be like, well, obviously the book is so huge. I know. I knew that. I knew it was going to happen. But there's just, like, some things that, like, just really irked me. But let's start off with the stuff that I did like. I really, really enjoyed the acting. I think that they did a phenomenal job for what they were given. Um, I went into it being like, that guy that they picked for Ethan is a complete dork, especially for some guy who's supposed to be a basketball player. And I was like, he's going to be really dorky. I'm not going to like him. But I loved him. I, I don't know who he is, but... I loved him as Ethan. Like, you could totally tell, like, obviously they're acting, but you could totally tell, like, he almost had, like, this genuine, like, love for Alina. Like, just in the way he smiled, and I was just like, I want you to be my friend, Ethan. Like, oh, I was so in love with him. Lena did a really great job as her. Um... I really liked Riley. Like, Riley did a really good job. I, like, whenever I knew she was going to come on, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I went with my mom and she's never read the book. So I was like, bad stuff's coming. Bad stuff's coming. And so I really liked that. Um, I thought that the writer had included some really, really great wit. Like, there are so many funny lines that I found myself, like, laughing hysterically. Nobody else in the theater thought it was as funny, but I would, like, start, like, growing crazy laughing um so I really liked that um there are just like little things like that that I really enjoyed I actually liked Ama as both characters a lot better than I thought I would um because that just seemed really interesting to me because I didn't know how they would pull that off and they did a pretty good job I didn't really miss Miriam as much as I thought I would have um but I liked her I liked all the acting and now to the bad parts. I got really mad at the parts that they, like, left out. Like, they... I understand you gotta leave some stuff out. That was big book. But, like, to change it just kind of killed me in the inside. Like, spoilers ahead, I guess you can say. I hated, hated that they made it that she has... Somebody that she loves has to die in order for the spell to be reversed and the whole erasing of Ethan's mind oh my god are you kidding me like I was like cringing I was like you cannot make him forget you like especially like at the end when he's leaving for New York and he sees her and it's like hey we should have hung out like and she knows like Lena knows and Amma's there and I'm like it broke my heart to see them not be in love at the end um, I really didn't like the whole, like, trickery thing about how, like, it really wasn't Ethan who got killed. Um, I really didn't like the, um, what else didn't I like? I didn't like that Link killed him. Oh my god, like, how can you have that where, like, the best friend, like, kills you? Like, that just, no. Like, I would have rather had the party and, like, that whole thing, like, I liked the whole party scene a lot better. Um, I really didn't like that you found out who Seraphine was so close to the beginning. Um, her birthday changing, that's fine, whatever. It just didn't make sense, like, why you hadn't changed that. I was so disappointed that there was no dance. I was so upset because that was one of the things that I really wanted to see, like, my imagination come to life kind of thing like I really wanted to see what she looked like in the dress and all dressed up 
I really wanted to see that. I thought it was really interesting how Ama in the book was like trying to keep them apart, but it was almost like she was pushing them together in the movie. That kind of was weird. Um, but overall, like, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it either. Like, to the sense that, like, I had tears coming down my face for a good portion of it. That means the movie got me to feel something, so I, that can't be too bad, but I just was so mad. Like, the book is long enough as it is. Like, don't take out the good parts. Like, take out the stuff that's not necessary, but you do not need to change the, what's already there, what's good. That's just my opinion. I'm really bad. I critique movie to, like, book to movie adaptations probably more than I should. But I just, I don't know. I was really kind of disappointed in this movie adaptation. But that's just my opinion. Maybe you loved it. If you really loved it, maybe me, you might want to comment. If you agree with me, comment. Either way, you can comment. <laughs> Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.